Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to talk about IGPs and EGPs. Well, these are two major types of routing protocols. In other words, these are two categories of routing protocols. And all the routing protocols that you're going to learn about will fall into one of these two categories. So it'll either be an IGP or an EGP. So an IGP, which stands for Interior Gateway Protocol, is a protocol that's used within an autonomous system. An EGP, or an Exterior Gateway Protocol, is a protocol that's used outside or between autonomous systems. An example of an IGP is RIP, and we just learned about RIP. An example of an EGP would be BGP, the Border Gateway Protocol. Don't let all these acronyms blow your mind away. You'll get them after a while. Just keep watching the videos and, and reading up on this stuff, okay? So an autonomous system, we've mentioned that twice now. What exactly is it? So an autonomous system is any network, an independent network, which is under the control of a single organization, okay? So all the routers and switches and computers and printers and everything on a, on a private network, which is under the common administrative control. So in other words, think of a company like Company A. They have all of their equipment. They have their own private network. That is considered an autonomous system. And of course, you have many different autonomous systems, many different companies doing many different things. And so in order for these autonomous systems to function within themselves, they use IGPs to exchange routing information internally. And then they use EGPs in order to share information between different autonomous systems. So if company A and company B want to talk, they use an EGP like BGP. Autonomous systems are sometimes assigned numbers, and it's called an autonomous system number, not too surprisingly. These are assigned by ICANN, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Network Numbers, and it's a way to identify a network, and ASNs are also used by BGP for loop avoidance. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually take a look at a diagram to further illustrate these concepts. So we have two companies here, Company A and Company B. Now, let's start with Company A. So on their network, they have routers probably all over the place, and they have switches and PCs, and everything is linked together, however their network is designed. This is an independent network. It's under their control. Company A controls it. They administer it. They're responsible for it. So because of that, they're considered an autonomous system. And here you can see they've been assigned an autonomous system number of one. Now the same thing is going to happen at company B, right? They've got their own equipment as well. And it's all running just fine. They also have their own autonomous system because they're a different network. They're under, they're independent from company A and they're independent from everyone else. So that's why they're considered an autonomous system and they have their own number. So here it's ASN2. Now inside each company, they're running perhaps some routing protocols. And specifically, they're running routing protocols from the category of IGP, Interior Gateway Protocols. So that could include RIP, OSPF, EIGRP. Those are examples of Interior Gateway Protocols so that all of their uh, routers and switches can exchange routing information. Now, when these two companies want to perhaps send traffic to and from each other, they also could use a protocol, and specifically they're going to use an exterior gateway protocol, and one of the most common ones is BGP, the Border Gateway Protocol. And that is an EGP, and by using that, they can exchange routing information so that if they have some information to send to each other, they know how to route there. Okay, and so you can extrapolate this small example and just imagine thousands of other autonomous systems and they're all linked together in some fashion or another ISPs and individual companies and this is the way it works they all pretty much use an IGP of some kind to uh, whichever one suits their desi design needs the best and then they use BGP between them in order to share their information and that's it so knowing the two categories is important um, because you wouldn't want to necessarily try to use an IGP between two autonomous systems so knowing when when to use which routing protocol is important and so these two categories uh, um, help us kind of differentiate the two and know when to use what 
Okay, and that's it. That is the difference between an IGP and an EGP. Thanks for watching.